My name is Anastasia Cvetkova. I'm assistant professor at mathematics and computer science department. I also was von Neumann fellow last year at the Institute of Advanced Study, Princeton. And I'm looking forward to talking to you about my research and other things. I study low dimensional geometry and topology. An object, the main object of study is called a manifold, and we're looking at manifolds in dimension two, three, and four. So we say low dimensional geometry and topology. A two dimensional manifold is just a surface. So think of a surface of a donut or a surface of an earth. So any surface, we think about surfaces up to a continuous deformation. So you can take your donut and really squish it, and it still stays a donut. Or you can try to stretch it a bit and before you break it, it's still a donut. To also study geometry, geometry is something much more rigid. So think of covering your donut surface with uh, triangles and measuring those triangles. And that will be something much more rigid than topology. And there are many, many foods for which we can study both geometry and topology. Uh, so this is on one hand abstract uh, field, on the other hand it's highly visual. You can think about our space, just the space we live in. There is Euclidean geometry, right? We can draw lines, we can look at parallel lines, triangles. There is a lot of uh, visual beauty in it, and there are a lot of applications. As you can imagine, physicists would want to know what the shape of space is, and then there are also other areas of study, like data science, which would use manifolds and all of this. First, I got interested just in mathematics, abstractly. Um, and this happens, you know, when you're a child, it's just something that seems to be easy at a certain age. You think, okay, I have to study for everything else, but mathematics, I can just think and maybe produce something just by thinking without any props doing anything. And so, well, at that age, it just seems something easy and nice. And uh, later, when I was a graduate student, I was drawn to maybe, maybe it's uh, an illusion, but they seemed deeper. It seems like you have to think deeper to understand something. Uh, there was a lot of visual beauty to this particular area. I listened to several talks and I was just smitten by how pretty things are. Even if you can't touch them, you can think of them and you can maybe see them in your head. These days, not only we can see them with our heads, but also there are many um, visualization tools where we can show them to students and to public and to each other. And it's immensely rich for maybe source as a source even of art. And this beauty still fascinates me. We also do a lot of 3D printing, so I don't have it on hand, but it's actually, it gives ways to those visualizations, but also to art. If you go to mathematics art exhibition, lots and lots of it is based on geometry and topology. For example, Escher um, has lots of tiling of hyperbolic plane that's geometry in dimension two. There are many hobbies somehow. I, through the life, you know, the hobbies change and I guess it makes life <laughs> more fun. Well, one of them is scuba diving. I love submerging you as something very, very different from this world. Similarly to science, you know, somehow you submerge and you also see something very different and it's a bit of escapism, but it's also, um, it also lets you discover something new, see something new. Mathematics um, is a field which often takes long time to get into and often it takes long time to get to see the beauty of it. Uh, we often start with things like calculus or introduction to proofs, and um, we try to convey our enthusiasm to students, but um, very often we see so much more in it because we really have seen so much more of it. Getting into mathematics really takes some perseverance, you know. To me, the most exciting stuff starts later, and in a way you have to get there, you have to get to deep water, you know, to skip a dive. <laughs> 